This video will show you how to assign super elevation to the subassembly. In this model file, I can see that the assembly has super elevation applied. If I zoom in to this change 1950, that we can see it is a minus two and a half percent normal crossfall, and then it starts to transition into fully super elevated at three and a half percent. Now, looking at the corridor surface, and um, once I change that to uh, contours with arrows, I can see that the corridor is not matching the super elevation in the alignment. So, what we need to do is we need to set the sub assembly to um, so that it will take the super elevation that is assigned in the alignment. To do that, we just select the uh, subassembly, go to the properties, and then scroll down. Once you scroll down, I am going to make sure that it, where it says use super elevation, change the none to left lane outside. Now, the reason I'm going left lane outside is because it's the left lane, and it's just best practice to always go with outside. Do the same for the right subassembly, select the pavement subassembly, scroll down in your properties, change the use super elevation, and then we're just going to go to right lane outside. Before I rebuild the surface, I am just going to select the alignment, and I'm just going to go to my super elevation uh, view table editor. So I select the alignment, went to super elevation, and I'm going to this view tabular editor. This table opens up and we can see within this table that the left outside lane has the parameter assigned to it and the right outside lane has the parameters assigned to it. And now since I set the super elevation within the sub assemblies, then I can just rebuild the surface, or rebuild the corridor, select the corridor, right click and go to rebuild corridor. That'll take a few seconds and now you can see the corridor surface of contours has updated. So now we have normal crossfold here, and then we are transitioning to fully super elevated at 3% or 3.5%. And that is how you assign uh, super elevation to your subassembly.